Hello, all you hardcores out there. How are you doing? Let's see from Poker's Corner, the biggest gob in sport. We say the things on here that nobody dares say. And you know that. That's why you've tuned in. I want to thank everybody for mainly sharing the videos this last month. I'm, I'm really impressed with numbers I've done this last month. Well, I should be showing really 93 videos in 30 days. That's some going that. That's some batting average, that, isn't it? Pop, pop, bang. So I want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing, them, but mainly sharing them and uh, leaving a comment. Uh, regarding the comments, uh, yeah, we do remove some of them because some of them are that vile. It's unbelievable. Every now and then we pin a couple up, but just seen one now. Uh, who had the motive to stop the Conor Ben Eubank fight last year? Motive? Motive? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Motive. Have you ever been punched off somebody who's juiced out of the mind? Hey, go get punched off somebody that's juiced up, hey, and who can take a punch because his neck's that strong and you can't do not with him. We try and keep somebody off you like that, hey. Every person that Conor Ben's beaten in his career should have a problem with losing to him. There should be an asterisk next to him, especially. All them losses after the Payano performance. <laughs> and Chris Eubank there, decimated, no on him, and not even allowed to rehydrate properly. Yeah, it were all set up for somebody to get hurt, wasn't it? That's the motive to stop it. Are some of you people out of your minds? Ah, oh, we just want to see the fight. We just want to see the fight. We're not bothered about this, but love about Roy. Everybody's on them and blah, blah, blah. Is that the mindset now? Jeez, eh? Personally, I think it's all got a bit boring now. I mean, why are we giving airtime to somebody after what's gone on here? They tried to bury the test, right? Now, I'm sick of hearing people coming out saying Conor Ben's a nice kid and he's innocent and Gareth A. Davis on a daily basis going on three, four, five, six platforms a day. You know, you know, big platforms and uh, saying his bit and defending Conor Ben. And he's a nice kid, and I had a running with him and blah de blah. But he's a nice kid, and I can see where he's coming from. And you know, there's delays, and it's not fair in him and blah de blah. Listen, the gad. Let me just say this to you, the gad. Right? Why don't you get Conor Ben on your Twitter and tweet him and say, Conor? Was there any clomiphene found in your system, in your urine? Yes or no? It's just one simple question. But you can't ask that, can you, Gad? Hey, because you've got... Everybody's got an ulterior motive, haven't they? Everybody's got an ulterior motive. for their, Everybody's trying to be a star, aren't they, and get their own little thing going. The only stars that there should be in the media, really, in my opinion, are ex-fighters who spilt the blood and guts. All the rest of them shouldn't even be there. You get odd presenter and that, don't you? You know, you need your Simon Jordans and your Simon and Adam Catrells and that, don't you? Proper boxing people. But people like the Gad, you should stick with print media. That's your job, in it? Print media. That's you. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane instead of running around thinking you're Bono. Hey, stay in your fucking lane, you prick. You know what I mean? Unbelievable. It's a joke. All this has done is dragged boxing through the mud. You know what I mean? If Ben's evidence, right, is that good, this evidence he's got that says he's innocent, why didn't he just put it in front of board when he had chance or in front of you, Cad? Why the cover-up at the beginning? Hey. You know, why, why the cover-up? Hey, it took three months for that first test to come out, didn't it? Once it came out about the first test, the second test come out, didn't it? But nobody wanted to say anything, did they, like the Dylan White River situation? Has there been any more that we don't know about? Hey, we're just going around in circles with it. Listen, this could take months to sort this. This could take months to sort, but I just want to say this right, while I'm here. The problem you've got, right, at the moment in the sport of boxing, right, not the fighters. Most fighters 
just do as they're told, don't they? Listen to the ma- the, the trainers, the managers, and that. It's not the fighters. The problem. It's not even the promoters. They're gonna if they can if they can uh, get away with it, they're gonna get away with it, the promoters, aren't they? It's not them. The problem in the sport of boxing. I'm gonna take a deep breath here before I say this. The problem in the sport of boxing is the media. The media, they're the problem. We've got these YouTubers, right? And they're not really boxing media people. They're like fanboys following the heroes about, like this this little puppy, Parsons. Have you seen him? It looks like he's fronting this boxing social. I was offered boxing social gig when it first started. I was offered it by Neil Kettleborough. That's a true story, that. I knocked him back because I don't want to be a camera jockey running up and down the country. I've got better things to do with my time, although I love boxing as much as anybody else. But I could have done that. But it's for a young lad like him. But what happens is they get softened up now. I'm not, I don't doubt Parsons knows he's boxing. And he does ask good questions. But when it comes to the big dogs, he's been softened up now and he don't want to put it on them, does he? They're aligning themselves with a certain promoter, aren't they, these people? Like, Omar aligns himself with Bricktop. Parsons aligns himself with Eddie Hills. What happens is they become like little pets, don't they? They become little pets and little PR people for these people. That's what they are. Public public relations people for these promoters. Little pets. Little pets that they put back in the box. And then they get them out every now and then when they need something going out there. It's craziness. Absolute craziness. We've got the we've got serving policemen, this boxing king media who lives near he's got he lives near me. Lives on the same street as my pal. Boxing King Media, eh? I've just seen some of the interviews he's doing here. They're not even asking one question. Boy, boxing king media, gully, you shit house. Why don't you ask one question? What well, the clomiphene found in Conor Ben's urine, Eddie? Yes or no? Don't let Eddie take you down another avenue. Just ask him, Eddie, can you answer yes or no? If he says no, you can say, well, why did it show up? If he says yeah, you can say, well, what's the problem then? It's strict liability. Nobody can ask these questions, can't they? They're letting them go around these legal loopholes with jurisdiction and all this contamination knackers. So far, looking at it, the only people that have stood firm are me. Yeah, that's right, me. I haven't changed my stance. Talk Sport, Boxing News, Boxing Asylum, Atman Strikes Back, and G-Man Boxing. If there's anybody else I've missed, I do apologise. But the rest of them, the Gareth A. Davis and... Oh, God, how are they trying to spin this? Boxing King Media, IFL Boxing Social... All of them are desperados wanting to stay in the mix. Desperados. That's what this is. Desperate people wanting to stay in the circle, wanting to have a little bit of fame, a little bit of reflected glory. Hanging out the back of people for a few crumbs. Unbelievable. We've got Earn now starting a smear campaign against the board. What is that? What is that? Conor Ben's had ample time to put his evidence together. What about this 270-page dossier that we were promised for weeks and weeks that they were doing with this new legal team? Where's that? What happened to that? Hey, what happened to that? Hey? Jeez. Nobody's going to say a word. Nobody's going to want to rock the boat of a 27-year-old little spoilt brat. He's not got an area belt. He's not got an English belt. He's not got a British belt or a Commonwealth or a European. But he's got a world ranking. How can that be when he's not gone through the levels? And now they're talking Boots Ennis, Crawford. What? Keith Thurman. These people would light Conor Ben up and put him on Button Moon. They put him on Button Moon like Michael Watson put his old man. Button moon. I can't believe what... I can't believe the audacity and the cheat. It's unbelievable. It's lying for the sake of lying. And nobody... 
Nobody's telling them, are they? They're running wild. Why isn't anybody standing up to these people? Why is any why ain't anybody standing up to these people? We've got anybody who doesn't stand up to these arse lickers. Yeah, arse lickers. All you ex fighters out there in media, all arse lickers. Arse Darren Barker, arse licker. Andy Lee, arse licker. Hey, these people are getting paid hand over fist to be pundits, right? They're not going to want to rock that little boat, are they? No, they're just going to go about the business as long as they're all right. I'm all right, Jack. That's what this is. I'm all right, Jack. Hey, this is what this is at the moment, isn't it? Hey, it's unbelievable. And this is on our watch. This is on our watch. I don't know. What can you do? But listen, at least I'm standing firm. And listen, the boxing fans know, don't they? They know. They know what's going on. They know. As long as the boxing fans know, that's all right, isn't it, really? All right. So that's about it, really. So anybody wanted to come on Zoom who's got any knackers, it's porkycorner at mail.com. And you need knackers to come on here because I don't suffer fools gladly on here, me. I'll see straight through you after one Zoom. All right. So if you've got any knackers, the email's porkycorner at mail.com. All right. Email me and let's see if there's anybody else out there who wants to join the commission. All right. Go well, on. Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. This great, great sport that these people are dragging, dragging down. And I just want to finish off on this with Adam Smith. Well done, Adam Smith, beating cancer. Well done. All right. As regards for gambling, that's your own personal problem. Isn't it? That's not to do with anybody else. Not me. So if I've spoke out a turn, Adam Smith, saying you're a big mad gambler, well, I apologise. But don't want to see Adam Smith on my screens in boxing again. No, I don't. Is that harsh? Maybe. He's got to earn a living, Annie, he? But... Let's have it right. If Adam Smith slips back into a job and works for Dazon, it'll just be the same as before, won't it, when he were at Sky. He was part of the problem at Sky when he was Eddie Hearn's little pet. Aren't you, Bean? So, i just like to say it as I see it. So, if he comes back into boxing, everybody will be, oh, it'll all, it's a bit nostalgic, in it, and it's great to have him back in that. But he knows what his job title will be, and that'll be gaslighting. If there's any close fights, he'll know how to spin it when he's commentating for rematches and stuff like that. He was part of the problem when he was at Sky. And this problem started when Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn started in boxing. That's when it all started, the problems. So having him back will just make it even worse. It'll just add to the problem. It's like everything else, isn't it? All these people with access, they've got no knackers. No knackers whatsoever. The fanboys. I just said no knackers whatsoever. Little fanboys pretending to be journalists but not asking proper questions. When a 10-year-old can see that there's only one question that needs asking. Was there any clomiphene found in Conor Ben's system? Yes or no? Does he accept that they're in his system? That's all you've got to ask. Do you mind letting them take you down other avenues? What sort of journalism is that? It's like these that are asking Boris Johnson and all these, what's he called, that Prime Minister now? Rishi. Rishi Sunak and the, these others. Pretty Patel and all these other lunatics that are running country into the ground. Nobody's putting it on, on them, are they? And when they do put, them on it, put it on them, they take them down other avenues. Just like what's happening in boxing and nobody gives a shit. Because everybody's all right, aren't they? The problem, boys and girls, is the media. They're allowing it to happen. The media are the problem. And what we need is we need ex-fighters to get YouTube accounts and give their opinion and have an opinion and put it on these people, not kiss up to them for a salary. Oh, my God. Hey, eh? Kiss arses. That's what it is, kiss arses. Coogan's been doing this 13 year. I've not seen him ask one decent question yet to any of these. They're all kiss asses, feather in the nests. That's what this is. All right. Peace out.
Thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. Man in the mirror moment, all you media people. Look in the mirror and ask yourself, are we asking the proper questions? Hey, eh? Are we asking proper questions? No, you're not. You're just filling your boots and that's it. You don't care about boxing. Don't tell me you people care about boxing. Hey, unbelievable. The man's failed two dope tests. He's not even won a belt. And everybody's losing their mind over it. And he's pay-per-view. What on earth is that? They're just trying to get that 1.1 million back that they've lost. That's all. They don't care for Conor Ben. They don't care for Conor Ben. Have they learned anything from when Kel Brook fought Golovkin? A 147 fight in a big 160. Well, now we've got a small 147 fighting a 168 coming down to 160. Didn't Eddie Hills learn anything from that fight? Hey, eh? didn't he learn anything from Devin Alexander and Lee Purdy? Hey, eh? did he learn anything from that? Hadn't he learned anything from what happened to Patrick Day, who passed away on his watch? Hey, eh? people die in the ring. Scott Westgarth died in Doncaster Dome. We're not saying the kid who we thought I were on anything, and Scott were given the victory. But he still passed away, bless him. God rest his soul. So did Patrick Day. Haven't we learned anything from this? From these incidents? And no, they want drug performance in Anson, performance in Anson drugs relation deaths. They were boxing deaths, but people get hurt in there. Oh, it's like nobody's listening, isn't it? And these media people have all got blood on their hands. All of them. That's so all they're doing is... They're giving these, the gas in these promoters up, so they're doing what they want. These promoters, Eddie Hills, are trying to bullet board. It's in front of our eyes. Nobody gives a shit, do they? One piece out.